It's my pleasure to welcome everybody to uh, the 2016-17 school year. Uh, we are super, super excited with all the changes that are happening this year. Um, we are uh, very excited to, uh, to hopefully have the, uh, the new name, the School for Entrepreneurship and Technology. Uh, this will be happening on September 13th officially when we um, uh, get board approval from San Diego Unified Board. We don't anticipate there being any uh, any issues, but um, we can't be officially at the School for Entrepreneurship and Technology until then. Um, so, uh, welcome everybody to this uh, to this wonderful uh, start of the school year. There's a number of changes uh, that are happening this year, and uh, for some of you that might seem a little a little scary because change is scary. Uh, but I want to assure you that every change that we're making is additive. Everything that we're doing is going to improve our program. And uh, every staff member that we've hired is going to make uh, the school be even better than, um, than it already was. So um, I want to take a moment to uh, introduce our staff. Uh, I am so, so excited about this staff. We've had a fantastic two weeks uh, preparing for the school year. And the energy is, is palpable. Uh, this is uh, by far the best staff that we've ever had on this, on this campus. And I'm really excited to, uh, to introduce them all. Look at that form. Hey guys, you're live on YouTube. Where'd you get, Kendall? ASB is the stars for joining us tonight. At uh, tonight's exhibition, we are going to give you a presentation of the Shark Tank project from uh, our economics class. So as we mentioned earlier, we have uh, a prototype, so we can give you a demonstration. So the box there has all of, uh, has the electronics for the helmet side, and it has uh, three different um, kind of areas of off, night version, so that's dim lights and on, so the lights are fully bright. And then over here, we have the ultrasonic sensors, so as Ryan moves his hand in front, you can see that the LEDs change as they sense that there's an object within, within the range. But I didn't participate with them, and I want to explain why. So there's a couple of reasons. So one, you guys... <laughs> To, we're going to start with the Trump team, actually. Um, what do you, how do you feel about Trump's foreign policy, as in globalization, um, immigration, uh, imports, and exports? What's your opinion on that? Well, I think his foreign policy is by far better than Hillary Clinton's. This is why Hillary Clinton wants to establish a no-fly zone over Syria, and Russia already told us if we mess with the regime in such a way, they will eliminate us. They're preparing for nuclear war. They've moved all of their government officials out of the Kremlin, and they're creating bunkers for their citizens. So overall, his foreign policy and him saying he wants to be friendly with Putin is a great idea. Um, his wall idea, although I don't agree with it, it, is better than nuclear war. I'd rather have a stagnant White House than, a, than no White House. So, uh, I don't really have an update. Uh, I was just having this mic. Stop! Quiet! But yeah, yeah, pulling data is still coming in, uh, and we'll be looking at it shortly. Just make sure you get it. As you guys can see, guys, we have blood splatter everywhere. Someone taste to blood see what's going on. Call the police. Is that blood splatter can guide you to where our victims may be. 
And you can also use blood splatter by looking at the, taking some of the drops, measuring the width and length of them, and then multiplying it by the sign, and you would get the angle at which those drops came from. And we can use string to determine where the victims were. So if you guys would like, you can hold ground and make it find the victims. Check the closet. He's, his dead body's in the closet. No, wait. What are we in the closet? Oh, reason. In the ceiling. Oh, yeah, I was right. In the ceiling. There's a dead guy in Oh, no. Oh, no. It's dead. <laughs> we got another one over here. That's what it's caught me before. That's really weird. <laughs> All right, we're apparently live now, guys. Oh, but you know what I forgot to do is I forgot to tweet that we were live with us. So, uh, we're back on Mars here with, uh, Lucas Weed. Hello. And, Lucas, I spoke to your team member, Devin, earlier, because yep. you were a bit busy, but now I actually get the opportunity to talk to you. Lucas, what exactly is going on with your robot? Uh, so there's quite a bit of things. So earlier today, we had a motor controller drop out on us, so it was just not being recognized. Uh, so we did not, could not drive the left side of our robot, which is pretty great. Uh, so we had to spend like 5-10 minutes uh, fixing that. Uh, and so eventually, you know, it drove, but it did drive beautifully. Uh, and then we With one second. Oh, they changed it! Good job, Blue! Got all three beacons, one being red. Red got the cap ball. One last chance. That doesn't count. I remember I just was touching. I didn't see the rockets up there last night. Did you see the Gnibur explosion? Yeah, I did see that. Is the pig still out rotting? Oh, no, that's, that's, that's going, that's going to be the, uh, the headline. You're the only one that's going to be no So this is where the, uh, the pigs lived or died. Got taken apart. <laughs> Got taken apart. Oh, we need the tardigrade, uh, video. <laughs> This is what we call a small Mr. Baker. Uh, Hello. Wait, am I on camera? You are on camera. Hello. So cool. Is it McCoy? So whatever, what's this fluid? So it's oil. So there's a time to look at oil. Oh, are you showing it off over there? Yes. <laughs> Alright, let me just get this first and then... Oh, I didn't see the, uh, the ceiling there last night. Do you go over 
Hey, we're going to do the trebuchet outside. Is that okay? We have already did it. Oh, how was it? It was great. <laughs> Alex won a shirt because he caught the ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, can I interrupt you? Can I try that? Okay, no, no. Yes, Jesse, you may. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Really Let's happy. find this Ferris yeah. fluid. Jesse, do you want to try it? I'll BCC you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I know. Now push down on it, and it feels like uh, like a trampoline a little bit, right? Like, Can you tell me right? what's happening? I don't understand. I don't you guys, but I want to film uh, Miss J's project here. Wow, that actually worked.